Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another speed build. Today we're going to be building a lovely island starter home for this sim made by Fred Schwartz on the gallery. She also has a beautiful little leopard looking kitty and I just thought they were so striking. So I wanted to build a home for them here on this lot in Sulani. It's called the Lagoon Look Lot and I started off just making some simple boxes because I knew that I wanted her to have a little tiny front porch area and also a little deck space that leads out into the water because why wouldn't you on a water lot in Sulani so that is how I started it off and I also gave some stilt um, foundation for that because I thought that was fitting it's very islandy looking it's pretty standard but I also gave a second level for her bedroom and I use the stairs from Island Living and then I had to kind of expand it a little bit because it was ever so slightly just too squished I finish up the roofing situation so I just use this simple gabled roof and then I do add the texture from Island Living with like the fronds hanging in the front I just thought that was so pretty and some steps out here onto the front porch and then I used a lot of Island Living for this obviously because we are in Solani so the columns and the fencing on the front porch are from Island Living but the spandrels are from the horse ranch pack I thought that that wood is just a little bit more rustic and simple also they were a little bit cheaper and we are using a budget for this build so I thought that it fit very nicely and the cottage living wood flooring on the front deck and I also repeat that throughout the home I won't address it again because I kind of just piece it together little by little but I do use that same cottage living flooring all throughout the home and then in the roof eaves we use the island living wood slats because I thought they looked nice and worn and in those roof pieces I thought that it fit really nicely and then in here we're gonna start on the floor plan so this little space over here ends up being the bathroom and then we have a very open concept kitchen living dining situation there is no dining table in this space the only dining table is outside on the deck but that's okay because she can always sit on the couch and watch the tv while she's eating and she lives alone with her kitty so if she's entertaining they can eat out on the back deck overlooking the ocean i thought that was a nice touch in the kitchen the countertops are from horse ranch and the appliances are from country kitchen kit actually in that blue tone which I never get to use so I thought that was fun here's where I'm expanding the home to better accommodate these stairs and I did straighten them out instead of having them be the L shape I just thought it looked a little nicer functioned a little nicer and allowed me to have this flat wall for an entertainment space the console table is from cats and dogs the couch is from high school years I like how it's very youthful and colorful and has that like beachy tone with the rattan pattern on it then we are moving into the bathroom where we have the simple base game cheap toilet and also a sink from Tiny Living, which I did kind of squish in there. So the name is fitting. And then I just kind of situated the bathroom around a little bit because I wanted it to fit nicely. The mirror is from Growing Together. It fits in here very nicely. Again, the rotten pattern and the wood tone match very, very well, as well as these open air windows. And then the siding in the bathroom, I used this blue wood worn siding. And then for the tile, I just picked a nice tan kind of tile from base game kind of thought it looked a little bit like sand so it <laughs> fits the theme and then up here in the bedroom this bed matches the couch that is downstairs just in a different swatch so that's also from high school years and the end tables are from laundry day I made a little landing up here for the bedroom I thought it was really really pretty and then we also add an adorable little cat bed in this blue tone I kind of keep this bedroom very blue and like ocean themed because it looks out on the ocean and one of her traits is child of the ocean. I figured she would enjoy kind of a beachy themed room. Now in here for the windows, I use those big open windows as you will have seen on all three walls. But then behind the bed, I used two of these kind of single half open windows. I like the beam in the middle, so I didn't want to use the big one that has that's like already pre-made without the beam in the middle. I pieced these two small windows together instead and used tool mod. And then over here, we have the dresser going in from for rent. I used a lot of for rent in this as well. There's the mirror right there because the wood tones match and it also has that same kind of rattan pattern and island feel. There's a little pineapple plant on top of her dresser too because it's customary, I guess. And then we have a little window in the kitchen, a little cat scratching post and platform for the kitty, and some open air slatted windows from Island Living on this wall over here. And then I also repeat that later on onto a different wall, but you will see that later. And then the rest of this downstairs area has this boldly brushed kind of 
uh, stucco texture from Courtyard Oasis kit in the pinky tone. I really like it. And then I shrunk down two of these upper head cabinets from Island Living, just one click, and then situated them together to look like one overhead cabinet piece. I thought that was a nice touch, kind of frames in the window and the kitchen area just a bit. And that is the final layout for our kitchen. I will end up adding clutter later, but you'll only see bits and pieces of that. Here in the living room, we add a little candle tray on the console table. And back here, I added a standing light from Island Living that does end up changing later because I ran into an issue with the budget and I didn't want to go over budget. So we have some lights going in on the wall from Island Living over here as well to kind of brighten up the space, get rid of these saucer lights. And then I added a fishy light from For Rent in the bathroom. I thought that, that was fitting as well for this space. And I think that it came out really nice. I also have to add some rugs, so we'll be in there soon to be adding our rugs. But out on the front porch, we have a simple bench and this hanging light from Island Living as well. Now back to the interior, here's that rug I was talking about. Another one from For Rent. Almost all the rugs in this uh, house are from For Rent. They come in so many different patterns and textures and I just think that that pack is really good for building because there's just so many useful items that you wouldn't think about. And then I also add this hanging like fish mobile above the cat's little platform area. Maybe that's a cat toy. However, I do change it for the debug one instead because it is free if you get the debug one and I just have to kind of situate it on the wall. There's also a very cute decorative fruit bowl in the kitchen, but I had to get rid of that later as well because um, again, budget. That thing is very expensive. Now up here in the bedroom, we have a tiled mosaic wall from high school years to kind of match the theme. And then I picked a pink color that kind of went with that same greenish blue, like aquamarine kind of tone and just rearranging the bedroom a little bit. I also add a little poof from For Rent at the end of the bed. I like how all the colors kind of go together nicely. And some curtains from Island Living on the windows in this white tone. And then also behind the bed where this window is, I add some of those other loose kind of flowy curtains. Here I am rearranging the whole bedroom though. I just kind of moved everything to be up against the banister where the stairs are. And I did have to move some other stuff. Uh, once I was play testing, I realized that my sim couldn't get to the other side of the bed so I thought that was a problem. I did fix that in the end and then we have some paintings going up from City Living. These are really pretty. I really like the tree of life and like the blue open window and some hanging ferns on this wall. Added another one of these snowy escape lights to the dresser and just use some alt placement to place a little bit more clutter. I believe I picked out a basket from For Rent. It's just decorative but it's really pretty. Actually I think you can put stuff in it now. I think they did change that. They updated it which is so nice. We love more storage. And here is our little table also from For Rent with the matching chairs from that same pack. And then I added a pergola onto the back deck, which I do have to end up sizing down a little bit with tool mod to make it fit, but it is perfectly functional. Your sim can get around it just fine. Also some debug and live edit torch lights because um, again, they were free, but they gave the same kind of light as the one that you have to buy. So I thought that was a steal. And then we have a lovely orchid for on top of the table. I added some more plants from For Rent and Base Game onto the this patio space and some lovely rattan chairs from Island Living to kind of give a little tiny seating area back here tucked away. I thought that was cute. And another little poof thing from Island Living. I changed the color to like a blue tone just because it's pretty. Now we're going to be working on some landscaping. I did pull out a bunch of these debug and live edit palm trees and I just kind of situated them over here in a clump. And then I used the live edit uh, tall grass that came with Island Living. I did have to use one of these bushes that is not debug, but I really wanted to put it there because it kind of helped frame this area in. Also some really big ferns and some kind of bushy grass. I just thought making that look kind of like it was part of the rest of the world would be nice. Some more of this low-lying grass from Live Edit and Debug from Island Living. I use that a lot in here because it really does help to kind of fill up the space and make it look a little bit more lush, but it does fit on the sandy lot. And some flowers, of course, they kind of go hand in hand, I think, with this lot because there's a lot of flowers all over the place. And then some more of these kind of big leafy kind of fern plants. I do have to kind of fiddle with them a little bit because they wanted to sink into the sand and I wanted them to actually look pretty normal. <laughs> some more of these big bushes with the white flowers from Island Living. 
and I do end up overloading this whole lot with landscaping. So I'm only going to show you a tiny bit of it, but it was really fun to landscape this lot. It's a lot different than, you know, my traditional landscaping of a lot, just a lot of like low lying plants and a couple little tall trees here and there, lots of grass to make it look really lived in. And like, it's not super well manicured. It's just kind of there. I really like that. It's kind of effortless looking. Of course, we added an outdoor trash can. There is no trash can inside. You could fit one, but instead of putting a trash can, I ended up adding a cat food bowl for the cat that lives here. But if you download the slot off the gallery, you can always replace that cat food bowl with a trash can or squeeze a trash can inside somewhere if you'd like. I personally just chose not to because the one outside for me is perfectly fine. If you do like this, so please be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. I really appreciate all of your support and give me some ideas if you have any of what kind of build you'd like to see next or, you know, what you have in mind or maybe something that you thought would be fun that you just haven't attempted yet or would like to see someone else try first because I've been there. <laughs> so I'd like to hear any of your ideas. Uh, two brains or three brains are better than one. And then we are adding some more of these bromeliads all over the place and kind of rearranging. I did want to put a little sitting area here. So I use these like coconut looking chairs. I thought they were fun. As you can see, we are now very low on cash. So what I decided to do after adding a little bit more of those debug lights and of course a litter box for the kitty before I forgot and a little soap pump is outside. I got rid of those stones that I had picked out from the Riviera Retreat Kit and instead I use the kind of like lava rocks that came with Island Living and position them all in a way that makes a path so you'll see that shortly here in the bathroom I just added some bathroom clutter stuff and some mounted fish as well as a mounted fish out here which is a shame because my sim is a child of the ocean and she did not like the mounted fish um I just kind of ignored that because I liked them <laughs> here I am replacing these uh rocks out here instead with the debug rocks from island living and I think that they look really nice it took me a long time to really position them so you're just going to see a little bit of it and then it will jump to being pretty much completed <laughs> because they were really finicky and they did have to kind of be lowered with tool mod a little bit in some spaces because it's not a completely level lot. We also have another rug out here on the front porch that I had to get the right size with with tool mod and then I pulled out some more plants out here for the front porch too just to give it a little bit more something like I said we were running low on funds and I had to be very careful here's where I decided to shrink down that pergola a small amount with tool mod and then I moved it out I think a little bit more and a little rug again from for rent under the dining table and just to kind of frame in this space a little bit more I thought maybe moving the dining table out a little bit would give more space I did play test this though and my sim had had no problem getting in and out and sitting on every chair and sitting on both sides the bed the couch all that good stuff using the bathroom everything was fine she could get to the mailbox trash can everything was good and the welcome wagon came to visit and everybody there seemed to be able to get around just fine so I think that everything is all set but here's just a little bit of terrain paint going in little tour of what I did after I rearranged I did use a lamp from Ego Lifestyle and instead of the fruit bowl we have the little basket with leaves I have a cutting board and a knife block and then upstairs here is pretty much the same as when we started but I did have to move some stuff around because my sim couldn't get around in there and then out here just for some fun I decided to throw in some like ruins over here some like buried crates in the sand and a little treasure chest that one is debug from the jungle adventure pack because the one from island living actually costs money and i also threw in some rocks some anemones some starfish some little like spongy things and some little fan things i don't know what these are but they're really cool and they fit here really nicely so i just went all out added some more coral moved some stuff around lowered it with tool mod to make it look like it was actually sunken down into the sand and i just really like how that turned out and here is our final product here is our sim hugging her kitty cat outside of her house she She's very happy to be here. Everyone's swimming and walking around on the beach in the background. So that's fun. Making some lunch for herself um, in her kitchen. Everything is fully functional. She had no problem cooking or prepping food. There's plenty of countertop space. And I think it just came out super cute. She was enjoying some TV while she ate her lunch as well. And then, like I said, the welcome wagon had come to visit. So they went outside to chat instead of sitting inside so they could enjoy the weather. But that is pretty much it for this build and I hope that you enjoyed it I know it was a shorter one um, but I really 
really wanted to just get a quick one out I, while I had the inspiration. So if you like this video, again, please be sure to like and subscribe if you have not already. Let me know down in the comments section down below uh, any and all ideas you have or any of your thoughts on this build. Would you have done something differently? Have you built in Sulani recently? Because I just was thinking I haven't built an island home in a while. I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> I would love to hear what you guys have to say and I'll talk to you next time. Bye guys.